In this part of the video, we will study about propagation of electromagnetic waves in conducting medium. Okay, so you can simply write propagation of EM wave in conducting medium. So remember now that medium is not free space. It is totally different medium. Therefore, the Maxwell's equation will accordingly be modified. For example, if we say our first Maxwell equation, which was earlier, that divergence of electric field is equals to rho by epsilon naught. This time it will be epsilon. Okay. So it will be only epsilon and not epsilon naught. Why? Because it is possible that the permittivity of the conducting medium is different and it will be de definitely different from permittivity of free space. So this is just epsilon and not epsilon naught. Fine. Also, if you would see the second equation, del dot b, which is divergence of magnetic field will be zero anyways. The third one, which is del cross e is equals to minus del B by del T. In the fourth, because now it is possible that in conducting media charges are present, there are free charges present inside conducting media, therefore because of the voltage difference a current can flow. So we will have del cross B is equals to mu naught J which is the conduction current plus epsilon I should not be using mu naught, I should be using mu because now it is not permeability of free space, it is of the medium itself. Epsilon, not may use karenge, epsilon del E by del T, right? It's like this. If you use Gauss law in macroscopic form, you will get that uh, Ohm's law in macroscopic form, it can be written as j is equals to sigma into e. You can relate it with the electric field vector if you know its conductivity. Where sigma is the conductivity of conducting media. So having conductivity sigma. Propagation of electromagnetic wave in conducting medium having conductivity sigma. So is the fourth equation in it. Thodi see or modify ho jayi. That you will have del cross b is equals to mu naught sigma e plus epsilon del E by del T. Fine. And as I told you in the last part, whenever you have to derive equation for propagation, you start with curl equation. Or curl equation ka curl le liche dubara se. So this seems slightly easy as compared to this one. So I will take this one. Del cross E equals to minus del B by del T. So take, taking del cross E is equals to minus del B by del T. Okay. If you both side curl, le, taking curl on both sides, you will get curl of curl of electric field. Remember that these are vectors. Huh? Curl of curl of electric field is equals to minus time derivative of curl of B and from our previous knowledge of standard form that this is nothing but equals to what del gradient of divergence of E I told you that this is now not just minus Laplacian but this quantity is also not zero here. So you have gradient of divergence of E minus Laplacian of E will be equals to minus del by del T of uh, del cross V key value up here set except where that equation goes. Yeah, so del cross B is a big term now. So del cross B key zaga I am putting the known term which is this 
mu naught. So in place of del cross b, I'm writing mu naught into sigma e plus epsilon del e del t. Fine. So this is what I have as equation with me now. Hmm? <clears throat> what I can say simply is that I have gradient of divergence of E, gradient of divergence of E minus del square E is equals to minus, you see, it will be mu naught into sigma del E by del T if first term, ko dekhe to, and minus, actually I should not be using mu naught, it should be mu only, you know, because space is different. Although conducting media, it permeability not have to be on the permeability, par padta hai. but still, to be on the safer side, we should not use mu naught, we should use mu. Mu sigma del E by del T minus mu epsilon del square e by del t square. You see, double time derivative of sin s. Fine. Also, from this equation, which is rho by epsilon. Now, see, although it is gradient of rho by epsilon, but rho by epsilon is constant constant. Okay? For conducting media also. So, constant ka gradient is zero. Ho so, this will be anyways zero. लेकिन इसके जीरो होने का मकसद दूसरा है इसके जीरो होने की वजह दूसरी है क्या कि जो चार्ज डेंसिटी है और परमिटिविटी ऑफ कंडक्टिंग मीडिया है वो कांस्टेंट है इसलिए ये जीरो हो गया अदरवाइज नहीं होता तो अब क्या बचा हमारे पास वी आर लेफ्ट विद माइनस ऑफ डेल स्क्वायर ई इज इक्वल्स टू म्यू सिग्मा डेल ई बाय डेल टी माइनस म्यू एप्सिलॉन del square e by del t square अब ये speed of light in free space नहीं होगी this is very different it is not mu naught epsilon naught it is mu epsilon तो this will be slightly नहीं it will be totally different from speed of light in free space हालांकि this will, term will give you speed of light in that medium but it will be very different from speed of light in free space तो this there was a negative sign as well so now what we can finalized from here is that if you want to or if you are interested in finding the wave propagation equation in a conducting media then instead of having just this term you also have an additional first order time derivative okay and I'll tell you this first order time derivative actually causes decaying solution I'll tell you how so first of all let us formalize that del square of E, the Laplacian of E is equals to mu sigma, where ye har ek symbol ka matlab bata hona chahi aapko. Mu is permeability of the conducting media, sigma is the conductivity of the conducting media, epsilon is the permittivity of the conducting media, del E by del T, where E is a vector field, plus mu epsilon del square E by del t square okay and this is equation of electromagnetic wave propagation in conducting media okay similarly if you would have taken the second equation, or this equation, or if you have taken this equation, you would have got something like this. So, let me just write it. So, you get del square h. I have written in h, so you know that b is equals to mu h. Okay? So, b upon mu, you can get out of that this is h. So, del square of h would have been equals to mu sigma del h by del t 
प्लस न्यू एप्सिलोन डेल स्क्वायर एच बाय डेल टी स्क्वायर यू कैन डेराइव दिस फ्रॉम द अबव गिवन थिंग्स ओके सो यू हैव बोथ इक्वेशंस वेदर इन टर्म्स ऑफ एच और इन टर्म्स ऑफ ई equation for propagation of electromagnetic waves in conducting media right this is it for this lecture now we will move on to the pointing theorem and pointing vector ki jab ye waves electric and magnetic waves propagate kar rahi hain to apne sath mein these waves will carry energy through radiation okay so these electromagnetic radiation ye apne sath energy kaise le jate hain na conduction hai na convection hai koi material ke beech mein zarurat nahi hai but still they can carry energy with them through radiations so that is the concept we will study in pointing vector and pointing theorem